In reality, you could be listening to gigs from inside his head and outside his body, this pulling together of nervous tension and relaxed aggression, this way of sorting himself out and sorting out the world around him. And it's where this journey from one column to another, from one version of the space around us and inside us to another, from one version of reality to another, begins. My decision in this reality is to now turn the corner across the street, make a move from gigs to Madlib, the deep thinking, flash forward hip hop anti hero, a busy post jazz conceptualist making a name for himself by disappearing behind a cascade of identities, craving freedom by transcending limitations and classification, by imagining another place, another space where he can live and breathe without being pulled back down to earth. That's jazz, the creation, the invention of an alternate reality that proposes that things can be better because they can be imagined. Imagination, as jazz always made clear, is the one weapon in the war against reality. Jazz at its best, moving from one form of itself to the next, takes reality by surprise. From Mad Lib raising consciousness during a time of astounding historical transformation to his spiritual godfather, his brave and metaphysical ancestor, Sun Ra, the missing link between Duke Ellington and public enemy, between Amy Cesar and Prince, broke away from the restrictions and prejudices that surrounded and repressed him by revealing that he was from Saturn. It seemed reasonable enough, it seemed like the truth, he did not lie. He was exploring the dark outer reaches of outer space where he could live without fear of being controlled by the cautious, the intolerant, the bigoted. An outer space that sounded like this. sight, audibly speaking, of barrier-breaking Charlie Parker, who took the kind of risks someone takes when they know how music can defeat evil. And one thing leads to another as it tends to, and one thing belongs with another. And John Sermon continues in the footsteps of Bird by putting the yearning, elated, inspiring saxophone in the same space as serene, ravishing strings. Forty years after the post-free, post-bob, post-blues British jazz of Sermon, Gibbs, Westbrook, Tippett, Tracy, Parker, Holland, Bailey, there's the post-hip-hop, post-rock jazz of Polar Bear, keeping the joy, the fierce force, the missionary zeal of the avant-garde alive when we most need it. To help us keep up to speed with what's around the corner, across the next street, through the next door at the end of this part of the journey.